Hey everyone, in this video we'll be discussing about the collection view selection color changes and here you can see on our iOS and the Android uh, we have very basic collection view which has uh, multiple list of items and then here if I select on both Android and iOS the selection color of the collection view uh, items get changes to red and uh, we it is customizable too so here uh, uh, the default uh, pre-selected color as well as the selected color also can be changed by the help of visual state manager so i'll be demonstrating you how it's done so here uh, you can see i have a very basic collection view which gets its list of items from our view model so first of all you have to understand here the selection mode should be changed to either single or multiple that you have and then here i have the collection view and this uh, our collection view gets its item source from the view model so uh, this is very basic that is getting the collection view list item so i have multiple list item that gets binded from the view model or dot from the dot cs it doesn't matter from anywhere you can take the uh, source for the collection view and then here you can uh, clearly see i have adapted our image inside the grid so here all the controls has to be wrapped inside the grid or the stack layout that you are using so that as soon as this grid individual item is selected that is the target type grid or the stack layout you can just add it over there if you are using any type of stack layout grid or anything so here inside the uh, content page or resources we are going to set that grid selection to a common state where the normal state color is going to be changed to a normal that is not visible whereas uh, whenever the item is selected out of the list then it changes to background color as red so this is what it really means to tell about so here i just change the color to green and it automatically got changed to a green background color whereas the unselected color as well as the normal color can also be changed to something like uh, the same thing that uh, was uh, used to uh, for our uh, selection color change so i'll just copy and then paste uh, that code over here so that uh, now the normal state color would be looking as like uh, pink so this is how it really looks like so pink uh, that is our default color and then whenever it's selected then it turns to green let me change the background color to white yeah so it works fine so here the background color also got changed and then you can see the pink as well as green color selection. Now let me show you the code of the view model class where this uh, collection view is getting its items from. So here you can see the items so it is my list of OBJ items. So our main page is going to interact with the main page view model as like this you can see over here. So our main page view model is basically going to have one class with two properties and our, our view model is going to inherit from our bindable object which gets uh, its namespace from the Xamarin forms and you can see we have two properties that is ID and obj image and we are going to encapsulate this uh, class object to a list of collection that is our observable collection of that specific class and then we are going to create list of objects and then add it to the list that is our observable collection list items so now we have created list of items that gets binded with the main page dot xaml so that completes our collection view selection color so that completes our tutorial thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorial